this is the final look and i hope you enjoyed i am kidding today i will start off from here and this will be the final look so without further ado let's just start hello everyone welcome back to my channel how are you all doing i hope you all are doing great if you are seeing me for the first time hello welcome my name is payal and welcome to my channel today i will be doing this eyeshadow come makeup tutorial this is basically a without eyeliner eyeshadow tutorial because i always go crazy with my eyeliner and it's so much hard work so much struggle to make both the wing even because i always make this one first and then it's so difficult to make this one as this or similar to this so i i guess you all face this struggle every day if you are a wink lover like me so today i thought let's make it a little easy for me and for you as well and also i have used only one eye shadow palette so yes this look all together is very easy to achieve if you want to know how i have achieved this look please keep watching So hello today i have done a few steps of the eye shadow tutorial to make it easy for you so that you don't have to wait for the moment when i will apply the eye shadow so what i did i applied a primer uh, this one this is from faces canada this is all time pro hd ace of base radiance primer uh which looks like this and uh, i have applied a concealer my uh i mean regular i use every day in my all my tutorial almost this uh, krylon concealer and i have applied a translucent powder uh, which is from kalaba and uh, yeah i'll show you that as well where is that where is that this kalaba translucent powder i used uh, to set my under eye and uh, the eyelid and also i have applied a little bit more because i have applied the concealer already to my under eye and i don't want any fallout if anything falls i will just wipe it off with a brush so yes that's what it is now for eye shadow today i will be using this palette from too faced I will use this shade as a transition shade and the shade name is Mocktail and I'm using a pack 203 blending brush I will just take the color or the shadow can you see me and then I will apply that to my crease and I will not only apply that to the outer crease I will bring that to the inner portion as well Now I will take this shade and I guess I will mix that with this one yes I will take this one the darkest brown shade and we'll mix that with this one because i'm scared that if this dark shade comes very intense then it might ruin the look so i will be kind of mixing them together like this and then we'll apply that to the outer v kind of yeah kind of outer v and blending that with the transition shade in the same again mixing all like both the color together and then i am applying it to the outer v and blending it nicely with the transition shade Next I'm going in with this shade. This is a very pretty blue glittery shade and I will take that with my finger and then we'll apply that from the inner corner. We'll start from the inner corner and we'll bring that till the middle. I 
am not able to reach to the inner corner with my finger so I will be using an applicator like this and I will take this shade like this and then I will go to the inner corner So now I will take the same blending brush pack 203 and will take the mocktail I mean this orange shade mocktail and we'll just apply that here to blend the blue shade with I think I should go with this dark shade as well so I'm kind of going with this shade and this shade to the outer corner to mix I mean to make all look together with the blue now as you can see here I have lost some of that intensity so I will just go ahead and apply the blue shade again and I'm just blending towards the outer V. Wow, I'm so happy with the shade. I'm really, really liking the shade. Now, I don't know, should I use some sort of a glitter like this on top? Let me just check how it works, then I will be telling you. Can you see the difference? Okay, so I will show you what I have applied. So this is a metallic eyeshadow from Calaba. This is called Moon Lava Eyeshadow. Yes, this is Cosmo Moon Lava Eyeshadow. It looks something like this and in the eyes it looks very pretty. So now um, for my eyeliner, I will not be applying an eyeliner today because this look, I am living for it. So I'm not going to apply any eyeliner for under eye. I will be applying things on my under eye and all. So I think I should just wipe off the powder under my eye and i am using a very fluffy powder blush powder brush for that this is p60 from wet and wild and i have wiped or wiped no wiped off all the powder and now i will move on to the eyeshadow again for my under eye i will be using uh, this shade and this shade I will mix this to the darkest brown shade and the uh, orange shade and I'm using a brush from a pack this is pack 202 whenever you apply eyeshadow to the water I mean to the under eye make sure that you connect this part so that it is not looking different it is looking together now i will be no today i will not apply any eyeliner i will not make a wing like touching my eyebrow or something i will be doing i will just tight line it with this maybelline eye studio yeah this is a liquid gel eyeliner yeah And I'm using a brush from Sigma Eyeliner Brush. This is E11. What? You wanna come here? Come. 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 
my penny it was sleeping and she just woke up it's seven o'clock almost seven o'clock evening 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 yes seven o'clock seven o'clock evening and she just woke up and she is looking at me like what are you doing and now she is coming you wanna come here no she wants to sleep again so yes i will move on to my base and for that i am taking l'oreal true match super blendable foundation uh, in the shade golden beige and uh, maybelline poreless matte foundation in the shade golden caramel and we'll use this compact powder from smashbox this is photo filter powder foundation i will do that really quick As my base is done, now I will move on to contour and for contour I will be using this one. This is called Sivana, Sivana Colors Bronzed Professional and this is 01. So I will be using this shade and the brush I am using is P50 from Wet n Wild. We'll just blend my nose contour a little bit because it is looking horrible and I'm using a brush it's a unknown brush I don't know this is also this is from uh, this is from Amazon I bought it long back I don't really remember which company or what brush it is so whatever you have any sort of a brush you can use it for this part for blush on today I will be taking this baked blush from NELF now I will apply some bronzer this is from Calaba and this looks something like this this is called Shimmer Bar, Shimmer, Shimmer Bar Bronze Glow 002. I will use this Flower Beauty palette to highlight my tip of the nose and the brow bone. First we'll highlight the brow bone and I am taking the shade in the middle, this one. <sighs> My nose is looking a little bit too much so we'll just dab the beauty blender on top to just Tone it down a little bit. We'll use this L'Oreal Genius Kit Brow Artist to give some definition to my eyebrow. And you know what I do? I will. I just brush my eyebrow upwards, and then I will just take this matte shade and will apply that to the outer portion where I have some gaps now we'll take this shade this is actually a gel and we'll set the front part I actually set all over I mean all the hair because I do have a lot of hair in my eyebrow and they just go crazy at times so I have to kind of set it with the gel so that they stay in place 
now i will move on to lipstick and first i will outline my lips using this lip definer from faces canada for lipstick i will be applying this k beauty lip crayon and this is melodrama today i will be applying a lip gloss as well and this is from mac this is very old it's good that mac has no expiry date this is b67 and uh, it's pite i guess b67 For mascara I will be using this K Beauty Lala Lash mascara. That's it for today's makeup tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this makeup look. Thank you so much for watching. Please let me know in the comment section if you have any request for any specific look. I would love to create that for you. And also if you have any suggestion, any advice for me for my channel, please mention that in the comment section. I would love to hear from you. With that, I will end the video here and also will request you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and if you're new to my channel i create makeup tutorials in my channel if you are interested into makeup beauty fashion diy skincare and all please uh, consider subscribing and also hit the bell icon beside the subscribe button for notification and yes i will see you soon in my next video till then stay happy stay healthy stay beautiful bye bye